Yo guys, what's up? This is Tom from Unreal Method and welcome back to a new video. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a landscape auto material in Unreal Engine 4. So let's start. I have this material from a last tutorial here. I will link it in the info card above. And instead of plugging all the output pins into layer blends, I just plug them into make material attributes and these output pins into layer blend so it's more compressed and more easier to handle and i have my stone textures here so these are stone textures and these are grass and moss textures and with these i can paint manually on the landscape if i connect this to my output node but in this tutorial we will make a landscape order material so i imported this rock texture here and let's go to that and I have a albedo, a normal, a roughness and a specular node. And for the albedo and normal, we need to right click and convert them to texture objects like this, because with normal objects, the next steps won't work. And now we will right click and search for world align texture. And this output pin goes into this input pin. And we will right click again and search for world align normal. And this output pin goes into this input pin. By the way, I'm recording this tutorial for the third time because my recording program did not work. And I would really appreciate it if you leave a thumbs up. And yeah, for the next step, we will right click and search for vertex normal world space. And we get that node. Now we will right click and search for multiply. And now we have to right click and search for vector then constant tree vector and under rgb let's say one on all three axes and you can imagine that as the rgb is x y z so the r is x the g is y and the b z so for all the directions and this goes into the b and this vertex normal world space goes into the a and now because we will only keep the directions, we will drag the output pin out and search for normalize. Let's get this node and this goes into the world space normals right here. And we don't need to do that for the normal texture, obviously, because these textures are very small, we need to scale them. So press one on the keyboard, left click and you get this constant vector. And let's convert this to a parameter and name the scale. And let's set a value of 1500 and this goes into the texture size right here and right here and uv stands for the u and v direction of a two-dimensional object and with the uvs we can scale the texture as well so this goes into the uv here and this goes into the uv here and for the next step we will need a node that is right here too so let's right click and search for make material attributes and basically we can create with this node a rock material inside our main material. So let's plug all the pins in. From here grab the X, Y, Z texture and this goes into the base color. The roughness goes into the roughness. And the specular goes into the specular. And again for the normals grab the X, Y, Z texture and this goes into the normals. And basically our rock material is done so we can jump to the next step. And for the next step, we will need an up vector. So we right click and search for constant tree vector. And because the RGB is the X, Y, Z and Z stands for the up direction, we will need to put a value of one in the B and we get a blue vector. So this stands for the up direction. And again, because this is a color, we will drag this pin out and search for transform vector. And we will need to normalize this again. So we will keep only the direction as we've done here. And because we want to have blending between two materials, we will right click and search for dot product. And this output pin goes into the A and this output pin goes into the B and let's preview that node. And this white and black texture gets applied. So this white stands for positive numbers like zero and above and black stands for negative numbers like zero and below and with this setup we can mix two materials together so let's stop previewing this node 
And now we need to linear interpolate this. So search for linear interpolate and you get this node and this pin goes now into the alpha. Now we will define a height maximum and a height minimum. So let's press one on the keyboard, left click. We get this node converted to parameter and let's call this height minimum. Duplicate it by pressing Ctrl W and let's call this height maximum. The minimum will be minus four and the maximum will be three. And this goes into the B and this goes into the A. So if we start previewing this node, we will see the transition line is higher above. So we have more grass and moss material and less rock material. And let's stop previewing this node again. And for the next step, we will add contrast that we can change later. So drag the output pin out and search for cheap contrast and press one on the keyboard, left click and let's convert this to a perimeter and let's call this contrast. This goes into the contrast and we can change it later. If we start previewing this and change this number, you can actually see how the contrast gets sharper, but we will change that later in the material instance. And for the last step, we will get a layer blend standard and with this node, we can mix all our materials together. So this result goes into the alpha because this is all grayscale. And for the base material, we will grab this material right here. And for the top material, we will grab our grass and moss. And now we will only have to break all the material attributes this output pin goes into the attributes and let's connect all these. Now we can actually save our material and apply it to a landscape. So I saved it really quick and I will go out and I will create a material instance and let's drag that onto a landscape. Now the shaders are compiling really quick and as you can see all the shaders are compiled and we can go to our landscape material and tweak some settings. So on small scale, this doesn't look as good as on big landscapes, but you can see the rock texture right here. If you have a steep fall off and if I increase the contrast, you can see how this edge gets sharper. And if I decrease it again, it gets smoother and you can adjust scale if you want. I just leave it how it was and yeah, you can tweak your settings, how you like it, add more materials maybe. And that's all. I hope you liked this tutorial. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.